Generally, you want to shape metal without denting it, you use a mallet. You want to shape metal and, and plan to dent it, you use a hammer. Found myself a piece of steel. Uh, went ahead and did some shaping on it myself when I had access to some uh, machinery equipment and this is one of my favorite tools. Been able to just polish it over time and um, this is my anvil and now I'm just going to flatten these out. So they're nice and flat. Touch them, they don't move, they're nice and flat. Sometimes you might find that this metal uh, will, uh, you'll shape it too much one way. Just turn it around, beat it back. Finally you'll get them flat. When you lay them on a nice flat surface, you touch the corners. They should have almost no difference. This one's got a little bit, so I'm going to... Now it doesn't move at all when I'm touching it because it's laying completely flat against a completely flat surface. And now that's your blank. This is this is what we're God dog it. This is what we're planning to use to create our jewelry. Okay, now that we've got these simple plugs made, I'm going to go ahead and draw some dimension on this. It's going to give me a, a straight line or a triangle or a circle or an oval or something. And the things that you want to consider when you do this, when you this particular project we're doing is going to, we're going to be using stamp work on it. Consider symmetry, balance, form. Um, these are things that you do want to consider. It'll make the eye look at the piece of jewelry with much more affection. Odd numbers, centers, radiating outward, or I guess you would call the design, the theme of the jewelry it needs to be something you need to think out prior to putting stamps to it. These are going to be fairly simple and straightforward. And I'm going to draw a center line right down the center of them. I have noticed that using the Sharpie pins in red, uh, these work very well. And uh, they buff right off. They don't distort the metal or anything. No scratches. Nothing you have to worry about later with sanding. Comes right off with alcohol and uh, you can draw your basic principle designs or your reference points with these things and they work very well. They also draw very well on metal as well. I'm just going to use a simple ruler. This is one inch so I'm going to mark it at one inch. Sorry, one half inch. Reference mark. And now I'll put the center line on it. And it's uh, one half inch this way, so it's a quarter of an inch. And now I've got reference lines for this piece. And uh, this will guide me as I do my stamp work. And I'll just go ahead and uh, mark the other one. <laughs> 